Hi everyone, I'm Laura Noel, and today I am reviewing the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Prenatal Vitamin. So before I get into the review of this very cool product, I want to give you a little backstory on me and prenatals. Okay, so years and years ago, I mean way before I even was dating or married or anything, um, I babysat a lot and I was around women that were talking about their prenatal vitamins and they were always talking about how they were horse pills. And I saw some of these pills and they were huge. Now, here's the thing about me. I can't swallow pills. I can not swallow pills. I have tried so many methods. I know it's all psychological. Can't do it. Um, the biggest pill that I can swallow is an Advil, ibuprofen, little um, round tablet. That's it. I can't do capsules. I can't do gels. I can't do anything like that. Um, so anytime I can, I try to do um, liquids or I try to do chewables. Now, along the way, many supplements that I've taken don't come in chewables, don't come in liquids, and so I have chewed many different kinds of vitamins <laughs> over the years. Um, I have also had to cut or chew um, or mix in water and then chug it antibiotics um, and all kinds of really nasty tasting things. So my taste buds, I'm very sensitive, but I have tasted and chugged down some pretty awful things. So just bear that in mind as I go out and review. <laughs> so anyway, um, I always feared the day that I would have to take prenatals because I knew there was no way I was ever going to swallow one of those horse pills. So we fast forward <laughs> into the last year and I got married and we started, you know, talking about when we went to start a family and I started thinking about prenatals. And I did lots of research and of course you should always talk to your doctor um, and ask them for their advice about when you should take a prenatal. Um, the research that I found said that for the most part it's okay to, to take a prenatal before um, either right before you try to conceive or especially during the time of trying to conceive and during pregnancy. The reason that you should be taking a really good vitamin and particularly hopefully a prenatal um, that has all the good nutrients is because in those first few weeks before you even know that you're pregnant there's already so much development going on, especially with the neural tube, um, which is you know, the whole reason that you need to have the right amount of folate um, or folic acid in your system. So I wanted to start a prenatal several months before uh, we would try to conceive to make sure that I found a good one. Uh, I heard so many people say that they couldn't stomach this one or that one made them sick or this and that. So I wanted to make sure that I found a good one uh, that I was taking consistently. I wanted to get those consistent levels of vitamins in my system um, well in advance because you never you never know when you'll actually conceive. So um, I did lots of research on different kinds. You know, there's there are some people out there that will say that during your childbearing years it's okay to take them, but then there's other people that will say you really shouldn't take it for that long when you're not pregnant or breastfeeding because um, it does have different levels of vitamins that you don't really need unless you're pregnant or breastfeeding. So um, in my research I came across a lot of women who said that they took it even if they were not trying to conceive or pregnant because it did things for their nails and their hair and stuff. I do not condone that at all. Um, I really think that it, it should be for people who seriously are trying to conceive or um, pregnant and it shouldn't just be taken randomly because of those vitamin levels. So that being said, um, I started researching and I started there were some that had petite vitamins that were still a little bit big for me. Um, there were chewables, there were gummies, but then there's all that debate about whether they have good 
levels of vitamins. And then of course I'm a part of the Crunchy community and the Crunchy community is very um, strict about how their vitamins are made and where the vitamins come from and all this and I was reading about how bad the synthetic vitamins are, um, how synthetic folic acid really does nothing for you, could actually be harmful for you and that you really want pure food folate. Well, how do you get all this? Okay, so I had seen Mama Naturals videos and she recommended a couple different brands. Um, some of them were big horse pills. I was like, heck no, can't do it. Um, I'd heard about the Honest Company, too big, can't, can't do it. Um, I can't remember the other brand, but there's another really good brand, too big, can't do it. But she, um, she did suggest this one, the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Prenatal. And so I started researching it and um, I read lots of reviews on Amazon, I read all of their description and I said, hmm, this might be something I could take. So I ordered it and I tried it and I will share my experience in a minute. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Okay, this is a raw food dietary supplement. It goes way beyond what you would find in a synthetic prenatal. It includes raw vitamins and minerals. Uh, it is vegetarian, it's gluten free, it's dairy free. Um, they have no binders, no fillers, no um, artificial colors or preservatives in it. And I also love that it comes in a glass amber bottle. It has all of the main vitamins and minerals um, and I will link a description to the product below so that you can actually go and check um, the label for yourself. I'm not going to go over all the different things in it. Um, but in addition to all of those, all kinds of things, but it has an organic fruit and vegetable blend, uh, which is really cool. It has an organic sprout blend, and it has it has mineral enzymes um, from algae, and it also has um, ginger and probiotics in it. So there is just a ton of stuff packed into these capsules. They are capsules. Um, they're just standard sized capsules with powder inside. And the directions say to take three capsules daily. Um, they may be taken with or without food. And it specifically says in the directions, this is what I found on Amazon and this is why I purchased these. Capsules can be opened. Contents may be taken directly with water or raw juices. On the reviews on Amazon, there are a lot of people that talk about taking it in their smoothies. Some people take three of them in one smoothie, which is not recommended. The reason that they are three a day is that you take one after each meal or with each meal so that you have a consistent level of the vitamins in your system at all times. If you take three at once, that's the problem with a lot of the one a days. You know, you by the end of the day, you don't even have anything in your system left because it all left. So by taking three throughout the day, you're giving yourself consistent boost of the ingredients. So a lot of people say it's a pain to take them after every meal and they forget and I forget too. But I have found um, that taking one after each meal actually makes me feel a lot better. I love the ginger in it. So that's what's in them. And um, because it is a whole food supplement, it's from actual food and not from the synthetic, it's supposed to be digested easier into your body and you're supposed to actually get more of the benefits. So that sounds good to me. Um, I haven't tried any other synthetic ones. And I don't think I ever will because I think this is fantastic. Um, my personal experience and review of this, I have been taking this, well, on and off for probably about a month, a month and a half. Um, and then I kind of stopped for a while and then I recently started taking it again rigorously. <laughs> um, like I said, I cannot swallow pills. And so the reason I try this is because it says that they can be opened. So what I do is I take one of the capsules and I empty it into a little glass mason jar. This is one of their jelly jars. I think it's eight ounces, even six ounces would work. Um, I just open it up, empty the capsule inside, 
and then I'll grab my apple juice. I try to get natural organic brands when they're on sale, um, but at this point just kind of whatever I can afford. Um, and I pour this, I pour my apple juice in, I pour about a fourth of a cup in, so it's about just a little bit there. I can usually get it down in about three to four sips and then washing it down with a little bit of water. So um, I pour my apple juice in, close it up, and I shake. And um, you know, when I first started, I put it in a cup and I tried stirring it, um, but it wasn't dissolving. Uh, so I found that shaking it was the most effective way to get most of it dissolved or at least mixed so that the pint, I could still feel some of the granules when I'm swallowing, but it's not too bad. Um, so definitely you can use anything that you can shake it up in. I would be aware of plastics or anything with hard to clean spaces. I tried that with a couple things and found just really nasty. This is the simplest thing to clean. You can clean it thoroughly um, and not too much is left in the jar after you drink it. So that's what I do after each meal and it works for me. The taste for me, I like it with the apple juice because the apple juice does kind of mask the flavor a little bit. Yes, it tastes like a vitamin. Uh, some people on Amazon say it tastes awful and they couldn't stand it. Like I said, I have chugged down antibiotics. <laughs> so talk about bad tasting things. Um, it's not exactly pleasant, but it's also not awful. So I think it's all right. Um, I have not felt any adverse effects at all. Um, I have not felt queasy, I have not felt sick or anything due to the iron. Um, in fact, I feel better because of the ginger. I am a huge fan of ginger. I keep um, crystallized ginger in my purse in everywhere so that I can just nibble on it any time that my tummy feels icky. Um, and so the ginger in here actually, I believe, and honestly, the probiotics and the ginger combination in here, I think helps me digest after every single meal. So I feel great. And then of course, all of the, uh, the B vitamins and everything else gives you energy. And I definitely feel good when I'm on this. Now, have I noticed a huge difference being on it versus not being on it? Not particularly, but um, I definitely don't feel worse and I definitely have to say it's a little bit better um, and maybe over a longer period of time I would notice more of a difference. Um, like I said, I haven't been taking it that long. Um, but I definitely recommend it. I, I don't think I'd find another one that I could take this easily that had this um, quality of ingredients. Yes, it's expensive, however, Amazon is definitely the cheapest. The larger bottle you buy, the cheaper it is. Um, I got a 180 bottle to start, but I'll definitely be getting the 360 next time um, just because it's a better deal. So, highly recommend it. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about it um, other than it tastes like a vitamin. So, <laughs> if you have problems swallowing pills, I really recommend this. Um, and if you can swallow capsules, highly recommend. Um, there are very few out there that have such good high quality ingredients. So definitely a thumbs up for the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Rock Me Needle. I do plan on taking this through um, the time that we're trying to conceive in through pregnancy and breastfeeding. So we'll see if that sticks through that, but that's my plan as of now. Comment below if you have ever tried this one or if you had another one that you absolutely loved. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.